Hey everybody, Jeff from Show It Here. In this video, we're gonna be looking at the size and position tab, and we're gonna look at what these horizontal and vertical locks mean underneath it. First and foremost, I wanna make clear that we are on a window height canvas type here. So only with a window height canvas type will you get any vertical locking options since the window height canvas will grow to accommodate the full display view. Now, if I change this canvas type to normal and then click again, you'll see I'm only going to get horizontal options because there is no vertical expansion of that canvas. So that's one note I just wanted to touch on so there was no confusion as you dive in and use this feature yourself. So let me change this canvas back and we'll get started here. All right, so here I have some different locks utilized. So you'll see on these black bars, I'm using our long lock. So this is going to lock edge to edge. I have two examples of it here because I want to show you how it works. If I wanted to stretch this edge to edge of the entire site, no matter what size screen it's being viewed on, I need to make sure to drag this shape to the very edge of the staging area. So these little dotted lines here, that indicates the staging area and you want to make sure that you're on the edge of each of those. I've also done a shorter one that's centered here and it's going to keep this relative amount of space to the edge and then if it's a larger display, that space is going to grow on each side. Now the next one I have on our gray boxes here is this half lock. So essentially uh, at the flat side here, it's going to lock into this position and stretch the rest of the way over. So again, it's all gonna come down to positioning. You'll see that this bar is going to stay stuck here in the middle and it's going to stretch all the way to the edge because I've pulled it out that far. Whereas this bar is going to stay pinned right here in the middle in line with this one, but it's going to keep this relative amount of space and that will stretch on larger displays. Lastly, we have our short lock. I've got two boxes here. You've probably utilized this the most, especially on your navigation. That's where it's often used, but you'll see here, I've got one box that's locked in and I've got one box that's not, so we can see how those function. So I'm gonna go ahead and preview this and we're gonna take a look at everything. Okay, so again, you'll see the one that I had stretched from edge to edge is going to fit edge to edge here whereas this one is keeping the space on the sides and expanding. Again, both of these are lined up. They're pinned here at the left side, and since they have that right side lock, they're stretching out, yet this one's keeping its relative space, and this one's going right to the edge of the site, as I intended. And lastly, you'll see here that our blue rectangle with the lock is staying in that relative position to the space from the side of the display area, whereas the one without the lock is skewing to the middle on a larger screen. So let's jump back in here. Again, like I mentioned, those short locks, you're gonna see them most commonly on your header. So in this particular case, we have our header options and we want them to stay on the right side and you'll see that they're doing that there. Now, if I were to unlock one of them, like the home, for example, and then preview this, you're now gonna see all of my options are sticking over here, except for that home, which is going to stay in this relative spot, regardless of how much growth there might be from the display size. Likewise, you can also do this with images. So for example here, I've got this image, and now if I shrink this down, let's say maybe I shrink it down to like here, and let's say I'm using it in this format, on my site. I'm using it in this size, but if I use something like this half lock here, it's going to again pin this side of the photo and then stretch to the left. So on a larger display, it's going to show more of this photo, which is actually a pretty cool feature. So let me drop this down and in the full browser preview, you can drag to resize and see how it displays essentially on different screen sizes. So you'll see here, since it's a large display, I'm on a large monitor, it's showing the full image. And if I shrink it down to something smaller, you'll notice that image is going to go back to those confines that we set in the display area there. So only when the display is large enough will it display more of that photo. So essentially you can lay out your design in a way that fits really nicely on smaller display sizes, but you could still use a medium lock like that so that if on a larger display size it's being viewed, that content is going to grow a little bit instead of just having blank space out to the left of it on a larger display. So these size and position locks are going to be very key to hold things in the right place, to make sure that you're keeping the content where you want on the page and it's behaving how you want. So make sure that you're definitely utilizing these as needed. And also under our size and position tab, we get some centering options here so I can center to the canvas 
vertically and horizontally. And then you can also play with the width, height, X and Y position and rotation here if you choose to do that versus using the sizing handles. So this is a great way to make sure that images match exact size, things like that. But these tools are going to help you make sure that you're keeping the content in the places you want. It's gonna help you create a more dynamic design and create something truly unique. So I hope this has been helpful as you continue to build your brand new site and we can't wait to see it launched. Until next time, happy creating.